Is there a cure for Friedreich's ataxia? Unfortunately, not yet. It was suggested that since the disease is indirectly caused by the damage caused by free radicals, drugs that are able to reduce this damage could be, if not a cure, at least a way to alleviate the symptoms. There are several compounds with suitable properties, among which vitamin C and coenzyme Q10. Many of them, however, are unable to cross the cellular membranes and enter in the cellular compartment, the mitochondrion, where most of the damage starts. Idebenone was chosen because, as compared to other similar compounds, it seems to be most effective in penetrating into mitochondria, the organelles in the human cells that contain frataxin. Several clinical trials are being attempted all over the world. So far, however, it seems that administration of idebenone has possibly some effect on the cardiac problems associated with Friedreich's ataxia, but not on the neurological problems. It has also reported some effect on the fatigue effect felt by the FRDA patients. Idebenone does not seem to be the answer. A different and potentially more promising approach is the use of drugs that activate gene expression or histone deacetylation inhibitors. These are compounds that tell the cell that it should not silence protein production and have been used for several pathologies, including cancer. By using these compounds, it should be possible to increase the levels of frataxin in the body of FRDA patients, thus contrasting the pathology. The main problem with the use of HDAC inhibitors is that most of them are very toxic for the cell and for the organism. Recently, however, a new class of HDAC compounds was developed that does not seem to be toxic. They will be in Phase 1 trials very soon in Europe and in other countries. They seem to be where the hope in FRDA treatment stands at the moment. More can only come from further studies which clarify the cellular function of frataxin and the mechanism that leads to partial silencing of the frataxin gene.